What is up my friends? You are very welcome along to this late late update regarding this, I think it's fair to call it a saga now, over Caicedo. Liverpool fans still none the wiser as to what is going to happen with this transfer, but I'm going to try and give you guys a timeline of where we're at and how we got to this point and potentially what to expect. So before I do, you know what I'm going to ask you to do? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do please drop a like on the video. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. We've reached 191,000 subscribers on the road to 200k. We know what side of bread is buttered on. We wouldn't be here without your amazing support. So thank you from all of us. Look, it's been a crazy 24 hours. Last night I sat here at 2am recording a video after Liverpool had won that bidding process for Caicedo. Brighton set a deadline of midnight last night on Thursday for best offers. Chelsea's offer was £100 million. Liverpool's was a British transfer fee record of £111 million. It was thought that personal terms were going to be no problem and Liverpool were looking to book a medical and get this deal done today. But then then some very strange and peculiar stuff has happened. And I'm not going to sit here and label and make accusations. I'll let you do that yourself. But it stinks to high heaven what has happened today. And I think a lot of journalists have a lot of questions to answer about where their bread is buttered and what side it's buttered on. Because there's been a lot of fume aimed at certain journalists for how they've conducted themselves. This is what we know and this is where we're currently at. Chelsea last night couldn't afford to go any higher with their bid for Caicedo and Liverpool knew this. Liverpool put in a bid that they knew without breaking any FFP or without getting themselves into issues about profit and sustainability, Chelsea really couldn't match. But Chelsea didn't want to give up and Chelsea have, I believe, gone on a charm offensive with a lot of journalists today. A lot of journalists saying that Chelsea are in the driving seat, Chelsea are still coming back in and that Brighton are willing to listen to more offers. We've not heard a thing from Brighton today. We don't really know where they're at. But I'm going to read something out in a minute that may give you an insight into where Brighton are at in all of this. It's also fair to say that if you were to ask a section of the Brighton fan base if they're very uh, friendly or very uh, positive about Caicedo's agent, fair to say they probably aren't. Again, you can find this out yourself by looking. And over in Ecuador, this doesn't look like it's going down very well either. So we've also seen today Chelsea pull out of the deal to sign Tyler Adams. They had triggered his release clause, which kicked in after Leeds were relegated. Tyler Adams, I believe, went as far as to do his medical. Now, if I'm wrong on that, sincerely, I apologize. But I'm sure I read it somewhere today. And he's been left hanging because Chelsea have pulled out of that. Not only have they pulled out of that, which you would say if Chelsea pulled out the offer for Tyler Adams because they wanted to get extra money to try and get Caicedo, that would make some sense, right? Free up that extra 25 million, maybe up your offer. But that's not what they did. There was reports today that Chelsea have agreed a fee with Southampton. That fee believed to be about 55 million pound for a Mayo Lavia. Now I've not seen this confirmed publicly, but again, some of these media outlets I've mentioned have been pushing this narrative all day. They've also gone as far as to say that Chelsea want to sign not just Lavia, but Lavia and Caicedo. Now I ask you, how is this possible if they couldn't afford to go above 100 million the day before for Caicedo? They had 25 million committed, so that means their maximum budget without getting into trouble and potentially running foul of FFP regulations was 125 million pound. So if they came back today and said they're willing to go to that number for Caicedo, maybe would have gone, let's see how Liverpool react, but at least they've tried to clear the way. That's not what they did. They've gone for the Lavia aspect and the Caicedo thing, and it stinks. And as I sit here right now, do I know where Caicedo will end up? No, but I'm going to give you an insight into what others are thinking. So... This article, and again, I want to give people credit for their work, comes from DaveOCCop.com. Liverpool fans, I'm sure you're probably aware of Dave's work. Dave's been writing today. This is what he said, and it's been backed up by reports from other journalists. Per reports, Brighton are said to be livid with the way Caicedo's representatives have handled this situation. Brighton CEO Paul Barber previously noted that the Ecuadorian has not received the best possible advice from those guiding him. Kind of going back to what I spoke to you about earlier with Brighton fans and their uh, 
thought processes around his representatives. It's been reported that Manuel Sierra, the player's agent, told Caicedo to stall this morning after verbal terms were allegedly agreed with Liverpool before the record bid went in. Now, that's important because a lot of people are saying, well, was this real from FSG? Did they really want to buy the player? Look, be under no illusions. Liverpool Football Club, or other clubs don't go about making bids for players if they don't have an indication the player is willing to make the move. Because Liverpool Football Club are not idiots. And if we could potentially miss out on Lavia and Caicedo, do you really think that's something they would have done if they weren't given the encouragement from the player side? Which is exactly what Dave has pointed out in his piece here. That only happens if you get the nod from the player side. So clearly Liverpool got encouragement from the player side and they went ahead with that British transfer record bid of £111 million. There's more to come. Brighton are furious with how Sierra has acted after the terms of the sale were already set with the auction stage closed due to Liverpool's bid. Again, as per David Ornstein's piece last night, Brighton set a deadline of Thursday midnight for best offers. Liverpool went 111, Brighton went, or excuse me, Chelsea went 100, Liverpool won. That was the bidding process. The new information could suggest that Caicedo's agents could be responsible for the player's hesitation to move. There's a little bit more from this, by the way. David Maddock of the Mirror has been writing. He said, Liverpool are refusing to give up on Caicedo transfer as questions arise over Chelsea's compliance with Premier League regulations. So again, to those Chelsea fans or other clubs fans that think I'm just a salty Liverpool fan, I'm not. I'm a realist and I'm looking at this and wondering how is it possible and also where is Chelsea's bid because everybody has told us all day what's going to happen they're going to do this Brighton are open to this Chelsea are coming up with this but they haven't done it they haven't lodged the bid and why is that probably because what David Maddock and others have said is probably right they don't have the wiggle room with FFP or Profit and Sustainability because Todd Bowley has spent a lot of money since coming into Chelsea, more money than we've seen spent in that period of time in the history of the league by clubs that have far bigger spending power. Manchester United couldn't do it. One of the most well, excuse me, one of the most well-run and profitable clubs in world football. Real Madrid couldn't do it. So how can Chelsea, with no shirt sponsor, a small stadium of about 40k, no European football, lots of players brought in on long-term, very high-earning contracts, and lots of players brought in to fulfill a squad that they already had too many people to even fit in the changing rooms last year. It doesn't feel right. So right now, Liverpool aren't giving up, and you shouldn't either as a fan. I don't know how this falls and works out. I don't know if Caicedo joins or Liverpool go elsewhere. But I am happy to see that Liverpool are at least putting it up to Chelsea and are at least making them declare transparently if they can afford this. So we'll be back tomorrow giving you guys updates. If something happens later tonight, again, I'll be back. But it's over to you now. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do drop a like on the video. And of course, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for your time. They're my thoughts. It's over to you now. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.